Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you a Hunger Games tutorial as it says above. Um, this isn't your normal Katniss tutorial. I am in love with the Hunger Games and would love to do a Katniss tutorial, but it seems like there are so many that it just wouldn't make sense to because so many people have already done it. So I went to go see it the other day and um, Glimmer, the girl from District I probably should have looked this up before I sat down to film this video, but I didn't, so I'll leave it down below if it's that important to you. Well, I really liked her hair during training, during the actual Hunger Games, the way she had her hair done. So I may look a little crazy right now because one side is braided normally and the other side is a fishtail braid. Well, Glimmer throughout had worn her hair in pigtail fishtail braid. So I didn't braid this side yet because it kind of takes a little while and I'm going to take it out now and show you guys how I did this side if you don't know how to do fishtail braid. Her ends are curled which I'm going to do at the end of the video. I'm going to curl my ends to show you the finished look. There will be a picture of her down below. There will also be the finished picture down below. So let's get started. If I look down my mirror is down in front of me. So. First thing to do, most important, brush out your hair so that there's no knots. Did it already, so it wasn't that difficult to do. Um, in the Hunger Games itself, she has her hair parted down the middle, and she doesn't have bangs. I have bangs. They're very hard to get rid of, to put them aside, so they're too short to really clip back, which is kind of sad. A little sad I cut them this short, but anyway. The tutorial. Her hair is a lot shorter than mine and it's blonde also so please excuse the differences. The first thing you want to want to gonna want to do is part your hair separately which I've already done because I braided this on already. Then part it down the front this way so that you pull it like this and the top layer your top layer is here and your bottom layer is here so that the braid is facing forward. If you part it this way so the back of your hair is down here and the front of your hair is here your fishtail braid will face the side so to be started parting it down the middle from the front top layer bottom layer from the bottom piece take a small piece from the back pull it from behind and across Pull it forward and to the other side. Now for the top side, another little piece from the back, pull it over the top side and combine it with the lower side. Same for the bottom. Take a piece from the lower, pull it across the front, combine it with the bottom side. back piece from the top layer, pull it across the top layer, combine it with the bottom side. Piece from the back on the bottom, pull it across, combine it with the top side. And you continue all the way down your hair. From the back, pull it forward. In the back once again and you're pulling it forward pulling it from the back cross it over the front pull it forward from the bottom take a piece from the back pull it over combine it with the top layer now the whole time you want to try and keep it very neat her hair is very neat and perfect and kept together. It's, it's very, very clean and there's no flyaways, there's no little mistakes, it's very room, little room for imperfection. So keep doing this all the way down your hair so that bring it all the way down. 
Once again, piece from the back on the bottom, pull it forward and over and connect it with the top side. Piece from the top, pull it over, connect it with the bottom. Try and make sure you use all the hair at least once, otherwise it makes the back look funny and you need to clip it or redo it or... Up, 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 I just combined my two sides. Okay. This takes, fishtail braids I find take a lot of practice. This isn't something that you're going to watch me do this once so or watch anybody do this once and then come back and do it again and do it yourself perfectly the first time. It takes a lot of practice. It took me five or six times just playing it around, doing it wrong constantly to figure out how to do it right. Um, happens to everybody. As with anything, practice it makes perfect. Um, the more you practice it, the per more perfect it will be. I can now do it in the middle of the park without looking in a mirror. For the longest time I couldn't. Mine's coming out a bit messy. As you can see, all the little pieces that are hanging out on the sides. Um, I have lots of layers in my hair as of recently when I got a haircut. Um, it's very hard to try and keep it perfect when not all the hair is the same length. And up here is a little messed up too, but can't be perfect every time. Almost to the bottom. This time, you're not going to want to braid it all the way to the bottom just for the purpose of this hair tutorial because of the way that Glimmer's hair is done you're going to want to leave about an inch at the bottom I'll show you how much I end up leaving so that you can curl the ends normally you'd want to braid it as far down as you can go or if you like the look of hair left at the bottom you can do that it's whatever your preference is on a normal day mm -hmm. Almost there. The less hair you have too, it makes it a little bit harder to keep braiding. It's less to hold on to, less pieces of hair to choose from. My hair thins out as you reach the bottom because of the layers. Um, I've had my straightener heating up. I'm going to curl my hair with my straightener because I don't like my curling iron. I'm going to measure the two sides. I have about equal lengths. Now I'm going to put my ponytail holder on the bottom of this. Leaving a good chunk of hair at the bottom. Normally I wouldn't leave this much hair, personally. Normally I'd leave about this much at the end of my fishtail braid, but because we're going to curl our ends, that's how much I'm leaving. Um, okay. So if you're going to be curling, using little rubber bands like this at the end of your hair, um, you might want to be very, very careful when curling your hair because if you get these, if these touch like your straightener or your curling iron, they will melt. And that's probably not going to do very good for your hair. It'd make it probably disgusting and gross. So now that I'm at the ends and I'm about to curl it with my straightener, I'm going to brush out the ends one more time. Okay. So the sections of my hair are a little bit thick to curl all together. So I'm going to split this one in half, and I'm going to take my straightener. Hi guys, so sorry, my camera on, my camera battery died as I was filming the end of the video, and I don't think I'm going to be able to connect the two videos on YouTube and cut them together. So right now I'm filming on my iPhone, and I'm just going to upload this as a separate video. Sorry. So I left off at curling the bottom of my hair 
so here it goes. Take a piece. I'm gonna split it in half. Take my curling, my straightener, clamp it, just twist back and hold. Um, normally I wouldn't do this. Okay, so see how that's curled now. Do the same for the bottom. However you're curling your hair, just do it as you normally would. Okay, I have two separate curls, just going to twist them together because on her hair it's one big curl, so yep, my ends are curled now. And I'll do the other side for you. Split it in half. Curl each. If you want to curl both at the same, the whole thing at once, go ahead. Just with my hair, won't be able to. So, I'm going to curl. Two separate curls. Twist them together. Go back over, curl it all one more time together. That didn't quite work, but okay. And this is the finished look. This curl didn't come out so good. And then this curl is good. Um, that's it. That's how Glimmer does her hair for the. Hunger Games movie when she is in training and also competing in the Hunger Games. I hope you guys enjoy this video and the video before this where you learned how to do the fishtail braid. Um, so, hope you liked it. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up if you really liked the video, and have a nice day. Bye!